well, it's not really a franchise at the moment, it's a trilogy. And, well, close enough. Yeah, and that would be Candyman. 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 Don't say his Candy- name five times in the mirror. No, that's He's that's gonna, just asking for trouble. He, he he will come and get you. He will. Oh, mm. I see what you did there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so we'll get into the, well, we're not going to get into him, but, um, we'll discuss him. Uh, Candyman, the first film, which, uh, came out in 1992, possibly 1993 in Australia because we're behind. That's weird because you're ahead of me right now. Yeah, but we get everything late. That's strange. That's, I feel bad for you guys. (laughs) Yes, please do. Uh, Candyman, so... It's, uh, well, by now it's 18-year-old film, and it stars Virginia Madsen as Helen and Tony Todd as the Candyman. Or, Tony Todd, awesome. Yeah, this was, I think, the role that, uh, well, made him famous in the uh, horror world. Pretty much. This is this is where most people discovered Tony Todd, yeah. they, that, that Tony Todd exists. Yeah, this is what he's known for. And well, it, it, the movie does star some other people, but um, they don't care. They don't really they matter because they're the two main ones that you're going to pay attention to. You might Pretty notice much. Ted Raimi at the beginning as a tough biker dude, which kind of is really unconvincing. Oh right, right, I remember him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, do you remember the first time you saw this movie? Oh, the first time I saw this movie. Um, so it came out in '92. Yeah. So I was 12, and I really wasn't into watching horror movies back then. So I didn't get to see this until I really started getting into horror movies back in high school. So this was about, you know, more than 10 years ago. Yeah. I'm old. <laughs> uh, I've heard a lot of good things about it. And so just one day I uh, I just came out and I bought it. And this is back in the VHS days. and This is back when they were cheap. So it didn't, yeah. it didn't cost me a whole lot. So I sat down to watch it. I didn't know a whole lot about Candyman, just from what I remember from the previews i saw on tv which made it seem kind of like a bloody mary yeah for people who remember the bloody mary uh legend you have to say her name three times in a mirror and she pops out so saying Candyman five times i thought was kind of a ripoff but uh, i was i was really pleasantly surprised by it um because the only it's a it's a clive barker movie i think he i don't know if he directed i forget if he directed Um, he wrote it or it's based on something he wrote yeah and uh, I didn't know Clive Barker from anything other than Hellraiser, but most people don't anyway. No. <laughs> and uh, I did enjoy uh, the first couple of Hellraiser, so I guess I had a little bit of uh, uh, something to look forward to. Yeah. So, uh, I, yeah, I, I just I, I sat back and just let the movie do its thing, really. I just uh, I went in with no expectations, and uh, it, uh, it really blew me away. It was a really good horror thriller. Mm. Well, I saw this when I was, like, 10, I think. I oh, was, you watched it when you were young. I watched it when I was young. I think it was about 10. Because I, wow. I can't remember if it was like a new release at the video store or whatever. But see, those, those, those movies weren't allowed in my house when I was younger. So uh, was... See, I didn't watch this at home with my parents knowing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this gotcha. is when we used to have sleepovers with my cousins and we used to go out and hire horror movies and whatnot. Movies were not supposed oh, so to that, be watching. So, you had, so they, your friends had the cool parents or something. No, we just got away with things, <laughs> I think. Oh, wow. <laughs> Video but, stores relaxed back then. Oh, yeah. Um, I think, yeah, we just used to, I don't know how we got away with getting what we wanted, but, yeah, I remember watching it, and I remember thinking it was, like, a really cool movie, and I think it was a little bit scary at that time, if I remember, and I think I remember it being a bit more bloody than it actually was, but... Um, oh, it, it, it can get pretty bloody. It, it It is, as it goes on, it does get that way, but... um rewatching it now i just realized like what an absolute just almost perfect horror movie it actually really is it is like when i watched it the other night uh i just kind of sat back and said like you know what compared to like a lot of movies that came out back in the 90s this is definitely one of the like the cream of the crop yeah definitely like, it's, I, I guess um... I'll just put put that on put that on the box cover for the next dvd yeah sean <laughs> says cream of the crop that's uh, but really it is it's, 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 um, there's more to it. The guy it than who likes just... Leprechaun says the candy well, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> leprechaun. Um, it's just that it's got an actual, like, deep story. Well, not deep story, but a decent story. Blah. It's not just something, oh, let's just make some crappy slasher movie 
and it, well exactly and, you know it's a lot more than just oh this thing's come back to life from the dead or whatever and yeah. it's ki- killing all these teenagers you know it's it, it, it's it's about like someone who's doing research into urban legends and finding out that an urban uh, uh, an urban legend is really real 